Let me ask you a couple of quick questions. Have you found yourself struggling to find a decent paintbrush? Or are you overwhelmed by the sheer amount of paintbrushes to choose from? I think I can speak for most of us when I say we've all had to ask ourselves a similar question at one point or another when trying to find a decent paintbrush. Now I think I've found the brush to answer those questions. I often get asked what paintbrush I use. Now I should probably be more proactive and include that information in my videos. But the truth is, I've never really been set on a specific band of brush up until now. I've been in this hobby for years. And like most of us, I've gone through my fair share of paintbrushes. I tend to find myself finding a brush that I really like, but that feeling only lasts a month. And then I'm on the hunt for a new brush. I've used paintbrushes from Games Workshop, Tamiya, MIG, etc. But none have really cut the mustard. I did find myself using the Games Workshop Layer S for a little while, but I'd be constantly purchasing new brushes as a tip would bend or be destroyed with my heavy handed painting techniques. I was also conned into purchasing one of their synthetic brushes. Well, that sucks. If you're a long term follower of the channel, you would have seen all these different paintbrushes with the evolution of my videos. My requirements for a good paintbrush are that it is long lasting, inexpensive, and easy to find, as in, a lot of hobby shops or art stores supply them. This hunt led me to the Rosemary & Co. Kalinsky Sable Series 33 paintbrushes. Now for those who are unfamiliar with Kalinsky Sable brushes, they are well regarded across the art world as being one of the finest type of brushes on the market. Ordinarily, sable brushes are incredibly expensive. Take the Windsor & Newton sable brushes for example. This particular range of brushes are extremely costly and not something your average wargamer could afford. We'd rather spend our savings on more miniatures that will collect dust for the next 10 years. However, those of us in Australia, we can pick up a Rosemary & Co. Kalinsky Sable Series 33 paintbrush for as little as $11. And I'm pretty sure that's across the board, so 11 US and about six pounds UK. That price in itself is super competitive and something most of us can afford. These paintbrushes use hair acquired from the tail of a Kalinsky, which is a species of weasel. Naturally, this isn't something that will sit well with everyone due to the nature of how this hair is potentially sourced. If this doesn't sit well with you, there are synthetic brushes on the market, but I'm yet to really find one that I'm happy with. I found the Rosemary & Co. Kalinsky Sable Series 33 paintbrushes to provide excellent control, and the tips can withstand such a good workout. I've used the same brush for my base coats, layering, highlighting, and even applying washes. The size brush I use the most is the double zero. I find myself using this size all the time, but this is more likely due to the fact I mainly paint smaller scale miniatures, as you would probably be aware already. My double zero has been in use since April 2023, which for me is staggering. My old brushes had an average life of one to two months if I was lucky. I'm now closing in on a year of use with no end in sight. The tip still has a nice point on it and I've only lost a handful of hairs in that time. I should also make it clear that I only use water and paper towel to clean my paintbrush. I know I can acquire proper brush cleaners but I've never really felt the need nor really want to part ways with the money. Those cleaners might help with my old brushes though so maybe give it a try if you want to. The sizes you can acquire range from 10 0, which is their smallest brush, all the way up to 20. I imagine 20 is probably the size you use to paint a wall, however, don't quote me on that. For us war gamers and scale modelers, we'd ideally be looking at sizes between 10 0 and 3. The price difference between the sizes 10 0 and 3 is only $5 which again is another huge positive. This just means that you can acquire a few different sizes without the worry of having to fork out hundreds just for something slightly bigger. You might find the bristles to be a tad longer than other brands, but this is something that you'll get used to quickly, as I did. 
These brushes are not as pleasing on the eye as other brushes, but I'd argue that you're not paying for a Ferrari. You just want something reliable and long lasting. The biggest positive, as I've already mentioned, is how we're standing the tip of the brushes. It really is amazing. I've absolutely loved my Rosemary & Co paint brushes. They've saved me money and made the process of painting so much more enjoyable. Nothing beats a nice fine tip on your paintbrush and one that is long lasting. So if you're new to the hobby or a long time modeling enthusiast and you're looking for a new paintbrush, why not give the Rosemary & Co Kalinsky Sable Series 33 paintbrushes a go? You won't be disappointed unless you've paid for that Ferrari paintbrush, in which case I'm incredibly jealous. Let me know below if this video has convinced you to purchase one of these brushes. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored and these were acquired by myself with the amazing help from my patrons. So a huge thanks goes out to them, as always. If you want to join their ranks and help fund videos like this, you can find the details in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.